okay now in the previous video i may not have mentioned sir i might have mentioned that here max uh, since it's l here max lost but here if you are, uh, i forgot to mention this um here optimal strategy as i mentioned is a subtree in which all nodes starting from first to max so first to max in the sense wherever in the level you see the first to max that's over here from there onwards till the end node if you get all w's if you get all w's that path is the optimal path okay so in this case actually we can find the optimal path over here so actually max can win provided that min makes this mistake okay if min takes this wrong step then max will win because all paths from his first chance whichever chance is his first chance from there till the end we have w's so that can be considered as the optimal path so this i may not have mentioned in that case his optimal path would be from here to here to here so this would be his optimal path provided that min makes this mistake okay so that will also be an optimal path so i forgot to mention as you can see here optimal strategy for max is subtree in which node starting from the first to max that means wherever the first his chance comes from there till the end if we get w's that can be considered as the optimal path as well okay with that correction handled in this video we will discuss about nim game problem its strategy and the four cases okay so now the nim what is nim game uh, nim game is here yeah. okay then first we'll tell what the game is okay what the game is okay this is there will be a single pile of matchsticks first thing there will be a single pile of matchstick greater than 1 okay it's a two player game each player plays alternate rounds okay next thing in one move okay in one move each player can pick up maximum of half okay maximum of half number of match sticks in the pile okay that means if there are seven sticks a player can pick only three sticks or less okay three sticks or less not more than that half of seven is 3.5 you pick three okay so you can pick one two or three sticks similarly 16 means you can pick one to eight sticks if it's three sticks you can pick only one stick because half of 3 is 1.5 but you can pick only one okay 0.5 is not included then who wins whoever takes the last stick loses okay so obviously the other person wins whoever takes the last stick okay whoever takes the last stick loses the game so that's done now we'll consider okay now we will draw a game tree consider max player playing first and the min player playing first okay two cases for this we will consider a pile of seven match sticks okay we will consider a case of seven match sticks then now we'll define what the game tree will be okay same as status labeling procedure game tree each node contains the total number of sticks so in our game tree which will draw for the nim game each node will represent the total number of sticks in the pile at that round okay for those numbers we will label w or l okay we will label w or l in accordance to the what we studied in the previous video the status labeling procedure okay so w and l will be assigned based on status labeling procedure that is the bottom up approach okay now if it's bottom up approach as i mentioned previously the lower levels the leaf nodes must have one condition a main condition to assign the w and l so in nim game we'll define that player who has to pick up the last stick loses that's the main uh, game's point right like the last person to pick the last stick loses so based on that what will be the leaf node values the w and l 
there are two things okay if a single stick is left at the max level okay if a single stick is left at the max level then based on the rule of the game of course max is picking the last stick so he will be assigned l max will be assigned the status l because max lost the game what is the next thing if single stick is left at the min level so when the min plays the game when the when it's min's round if there's a single stick left then w is assigned to min as i mentioned w and l are max's point of view so max wins or loses is what this w and l represent so if min picks the last stick max wins the game so w is assigned at the min level because max wins okay and that's what i'm writing here label l and w is assigned from max's point of view now what are the arrows in our tree represent uh, i didn't mention about thick arrows here so the thick arrows represent the optimal path whereas the ordinary arrows yeah uh, this was not mentioned in the previous video because that time we didn't have anything to assign to the ordinary arrows but here in the ordinary arrows will carry the number of sticks to be removed okay so the number of sticks to be removed is what we represent in the ordinary arrows what are the dotted arrows same as before the propagation of status so now we will draw based on max player playing first okay so let's draw the tree max player playing first okay uh, since we got a hold of how to draw status label it won't be that difficult since the previous video okay we'll do it quick or we'll write the levels on this side and here we have the game tree and i have mentioned here consider a single pile of seven matchsticks so our first node the root node will be 7 okay our first node will be 7 and we are telling max is playing first so max plays first i'll take a thick up pen okay this is visible okay max is playing first now how much how many sticks can he pick 1 2 and 3 so if he picks ordinary arrows represent the number of sticks he removed correct so we'll zoom in a bit okay so we will take one two or three sticks correct so that is his round done next min plays the game he has how many sticks left 7 minus 1 6 7 minus 2 5 and 4 correct these many sticks are left we are not assigning the w and l as of now as i said it should be from the bottom up so how many sticks can min pick So six or half of six is three. So you can pick one, two, or three sticks. F from five sticks, how many can you pick? One. So one means it will be equal to four, right? So yes, six minus one is five. Six minus two is four. Six minus three is three. So five minus one is four. You can join it to this node itself, okay? And five minus two, half of five is two point five. So two. So you can remove only two sticks maximum so 3 from 4 you can maximum pick 1 and 2 correct so 1 will lead you to 3 here and 2 will give you 2 okay so that's done next one max plays the game so when max okay now max can pick how many from 5 he can pick again 1 and 2 that would lead to 4 and 3 from 4 he can pick 1 and he can pick 2 that would lead to this from 3 he can pick only 1 because 1.5 so that would lead to 2 from 2 he can pick only 1 that would leave him to 1 only now you can start assigning the status labels because here you can see we have one left and whose level it is min so if one is left at min level who wins the game max so w so if this is w propagate it up this is at 2 2 is at max level so max to be w we need at least one w which it is so we'll write w and it can we propagate up no we need three also we need to assign three so no we'll go down now four how many can we remove one and two 
that would lead to 3 and 2 from 3 how many can you remove 1 so that would lead to 2 from here you can remove only 1 and from here also you can remove only 1 correct or is our graph correct right now yes oh here oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i was thinking uh i assigned a 2 right so you can merge it to the same node okay yeah, i forgot okay so now next thing now whose round is it max so max is round now again here you can do reverse uh, the propagation because one is left here one is left so one is left at whose level max so at max if one is left max lost the game so l propagate it up so up to this level is min so min all should be w for this to be w but we have l so any one l means min will become l can we do anything on the upper node yes 3 can be given some value so 3 can be given what value see it's at 3 is at max level so max is l when all of them are l which it is correct so this is done and now 4 can be assigned if you can see 3 is assigned 2 is assigned those are the only successors of 4 so l and w 4 is in what min level so at min level it is w if all are w which it is not so it is what is the other case l if any one is l min is l there you go now that's as and anything else can we say no we'll propagate down so max can remove how many sticks one stick and yeah just one stick that would lead it to two from here you can pick only one stick leading to one and there you go now it's means level means turn to play and yes here you have one so we can assign it if one is left at min it is a victory for max so we can assign again this as w okay so max any one w means it is w so this w so it propagates again up over here min is w and all are w which it is now can we assign something yes 4 can be assigned a value we have w and l 4 is at max level so for max level it's w if one of them is w so one is w so let's give it w can we assign anything else yes 5 can be assigned a value 5 is at min level so at min level uh, successor should be all w for it to be w which it is not one is l so at min level this will be l that's done now final step of last last stick left to do min can pick only one stick leading to one stick to be left out this is at the max level so what happens max lost the game this loss so min will also be l one of one of them should be l for min to be l so all of them should be l for max to be l and now for 4 to 4 is at min level so 4 to be l uh, we need any one to be l which it is so this will become l for max to be w any one should be w which it is we'll do it with w now 6 is at min so for min to be win all should be w which it is not if you observe this is w this is w and here we have an l so min can be win only if all are win but we have one l here so 6 will become l now all are l so max over here will be l and what is uh, now we finish backward propagation okay i forgot to mark the backward propagation here so backward propagation will be like this we got this victory win because of this here we got l because of this node and here we got l because of all three nodes which we need not define okay this one also was left out yeah there you go so this one need not be uh, backward propagation because all are l so you need not if you want you can but now finally the thick node uh, thick arrows for the sol uh, for the optimal solution for max how can we show the thick arrows from the first max uh, wherever max appears first time that is in the first in this case it's the first level itself from there till the bottom there should be all w's is it no we have an l here 
and obviously once you get l at the first max level wherever it is you don't have a solution so here max loses the game so what is the conclusion if max plays first the conclusion is over here okay i didn't write it so the conclusion here is no matter what max plays in the first round if he plays first whatever his move may be he will still lose min will always win okay so that's done now let us consider min playing first let's quickly draw that okay now min plays first so we we'll draw this level game tree again now min plays first so right min seven sticks we have assumed so now how many picks uh, sticks can uh, min pick one two and three what is it, what is it left with six five four the three will be the same right now except for the win and lose values so instead of wasting time i rather change this itself uh, can i can i undo that much okay i cannot okay the tree will be exactly the same only thing is these values will change okay let's do that quick that is i'm drawing the entire tree we'll do that of course in the exam you have to draw the entire stuff so min plays first then max plays then min plays then max plays then min plays then max plays then finally min plays now all the propagation values will change so i'll just erase that Okay, if I had edited this video, this wouldn't be here, but it's fine. Okay. I hope you guys will understand though, even it's a bit messy, but yeah. So there you go. So yeah, two. Okay. You can fast forward. So yeah, this is our graph right now. So uh, let's start from the bottom. If one is left at min, who wins? Max wins the game. So if this is W, for max to be W, we need at least one W as successor, which it is. Now here you have one at max. So if there is one at max level, it is an L. So now we'll backward propagate again. We will go here. So in min, for it to be W, all should be W, which it is. For it to be L, any one should be L. And here you have one. So one at min level is W. Now, next propagation at max level 4 here okay for 4 you have w and l so for max to be w any one should be w which it is so this will be w and because of which node is it from this one so we will do a backward propagation for this okay now this is 3 uh, one arrow only so one successor l so max is l if all are l Max is W if any one is W. So yeah, backward propagation is fine. Okay, here we have one. So one at max level is loose. That means this two will also become loose. Now for min. Okay, at min level for it to be W all should be W which it is not. So loose. This will also be loose. And this will be win. Okay. How is it? Because of this node. Because of this node and because of this not now here six six is uh, max level so any one should be w for it to be w which it is this is w so six can be w now five can five is at max level so it can be w if one is w which it is four can be w if one is w so it is 
so now finally min level for it to be w all the successors should be w which it is so it is w now what is the solution path solution path is where is the first max level over here so from this max level is it w's yes so from there where is the path which you will get all w's till the leaf node it is this path so let us do it thick lines here we go so this is the path this is also a path because all lead to w's okay now this 6 takes to this w this 5 takes to this w this 4 takes to this w this 3 takes to this w and this takes to this there you go this is the solution path if min plays first and max wins this is the path now if you observe again okay, this current graph itself when max played first, this was the exact path where all was L, okay? So all were L. That means this was the losing path for max, but winning path for min. And when min played first, this is the winning path for max and losing path for min. What do we observe? Whenever min plays first, max wins. Whenever max plays first, min wins. So what can we conclude? For this particular case where you have seven sticks, okay, we have assumed seven sticks in the initially we consider seven sticks and either of them play first, the second player always wins. So that is our conclusion for these cases. So what does this mean? Does that mean that in this game, whenever a second player plays, he will win? No, there is a strategy. How, what is the strategy here? Um, okay, the strategy will be see if at any time max player's turn okay when max is playing it's his turn there are n matchsticks we don't know what n is it can be any number okay n number of matchsticks then max can force a win that means you don't know whether he's going to win or lose but you can make him win by leaving m matchsticks okay by leaving m matchsticks for the min player to play which means that for example if max had 16 sticks then we have to come up with the solution where max should pick up a certain number of sticks so that it results in m number of sticks for min to play with now what is this m that is given over here M belongs to this 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 63. How did we get that? Using this solution. Xi is equal to 2, Xi minus 1 plus 1, where X0 is equal to 1 for I greater than 0. If you execute the values, you'll get this series. Now, in this sequence, uh, if this sequence any of the player gets, that player will lose. That is why we observed in our above example, whenever min or max played first, they had 7, okay, and 7 is there in this list, okay, so which means that whoever gets this list loses the game, unless they use a strategy, of course, so here see, max got 16 sticks, if I assume, which does not belong to M, it belongs to N, which can be anything, if he removes a certain number of sticks that m min will have m and that m should belong here so what can it be seven so i'll remove how many sticks nine right yeah nine sticks so if i remove nine sticks min will have just seven sticks to play with and that will repeat what we did the game three will repeat just like how min played first that game table will repeat and min will lose, max can win. Okay, so that's the strategy. But now how will you find out how many sticks must be removed? Because uh, from 16, even if you pick, I guess, yeah, 13 sticks, you'll get three left, which also belongs to M. So what can be the most optimal path? Is it three, seven or removing 15 sticks, which is not possible from 16 sticks? You have to remove half or less than half. 
so 3 and 7 so which is the most optimal path for that example which i took where max had 16 and m had to be left with 7 or 3 which which is the best path either this or that for that we'll use the strategy in the table given below this one okay so based on this strategy what are we doing L observe this table carefully we will assume okay let's consider a number 13 okay here you have a number 13 right here in the example i have taken a number 13 here okay 13 so first what you will do is this does not belong to the table m okay what was table m 1 3 7 15 31 63 and so on so i have taken 13 which does not belong to that now max has this number of sticks now at the end i want a number of sticks that will be left out for min to play with and that should belong to m so what is the path for that how will we get that convert 13 to its binary number that would be 1101 okay first step next remove the first bit that will become 0101 just remove this bit okay remove the first bit so that will be this now for this you add binary 1 okay add binary 1 what is the answer that you will get this so convert that into decimals you will get 6 correct so you will get 6 this is nothing but 6 which means that from 13 max must remove 6 sticks to get this as 7 that will be the most optimal path now I could have taken some more sticks to get this 3 or something like that but no it's not a lot 6 is the most optimal path you will get 7 as remainder and secondly you can't get 3 because you have to remove 10 sticks it is against the rule you, the rule is you are, you are allowed to take less than half or equal to half not more than that so the only optimal path is 7 even in the previous case where I mentioned the 3 it is not possible it just didn't hit me so it should be just 7 okay in the 16 number case so now uh, if you take another example of 27 convert that to binary 11011 remove the first bit that will be 1011 add a binary 1 you will get 0101110 convert this into decimals that would be 12 here you see 12 that means from 27 you should remove 12 sticks to get 15 which belongs to m and so min will lose okay so that is the strategy in the next we'll discuss the cases okay now game uh, the cases okay case one okay now we are we know what the strategy is now there are four cases now what is the first case remember these three sentences it will make work a lot, lot easier okay so what's the first case max is playing first okay uh, max is playing first and initially there are n uh, wait need a because yeah. okay n belongs does not belong to this what was this series this is the series which you should not have otherwise you will lose correct so yeah max is the first player and in the first round itself it should the stick should not belong to this category okay then max will always win no need to force no need to use strategy he will win okay you have to use a little bit of strategy but he will win automatically okay that is the first case now we'll show that we'll prove it with the graph okay so max is playing first i'll reduce this photo a little bit okay max is playing first we will draw the tree first case is max playing first max is playing first mm, okay. 
what can we consider they said the first case you should not, n should not belong to that category so let's take the least possible value uh, not least possible value let's take 6 okay you can take 5 you can take 4 but that will be a very small tree and uh, makes no point so let's at least let it be explainable so let's take 6 sticks so it's maxes around it has 6 sticks how many sticks should he take now he has an option of 1 2 3 but which is the most optimal one we need such a way that min that is the next round guy should get a value that belongs to 1 3 7 15 so which is the most possible one 3 so right three we need three itself so what's the most well, there is only one path remaining three so max here here you can write it down picks up three sticks so that min has three sticks left you can write it here okay the reason for remaining so you have removed three sticks now over the game is already done because min has no other option he has to take one stick so you will write here must pick only one stick or can pick only one stick as the reason here okay obviously two sticks are left now your max has no other option he has to pick just one stick now over final step is min min has to pick the last stick so if when min picks the last stick max won the game and based on the status labeling it's win 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 and this is the optimal path you can write you need not do it dark lines now because it's fine this is for cases so every you have like four different trees so yeah this is the optimal path max wins the game so what is our conclusion the conclusion is obviously the case itself so whenever the max player plays first initially where there are n does not belong to this category okay this category it should not belong 6 does not belong to the category that number of max sticks if they are there initially max no matter what he will win okay he will win no need to use any strategy here so next step so in the next case in the next case max is the second player okay max is the second player and n belongs to you might now only can understand that he will automatically win why this is similar to this case over here the example case that we took if i show it over here the example case over here see max is the second player which means obviously min is the first player and in the initially it should belong to the category 1 3 7 which it is so in our examples you know the previous one where we took the example for nim game that is max playing first and min playing first you can take that second graph as an example it's that is the solution for the case 2 so obviously max will win okay so because max is the second player so first player is obviously min and for first player we are giving the sticks that belong to this category and what do we discuss in the strategy if anyone has this category of sticks he will lose so obviously max wins this game again i need not draw the graph because it's it's same as the example so but still for the case uh, we can reduce a lot of stuff in the graph okay so but only thing is you have to write the reason for removing that's the only extra part so here we'll consider 7 consider 7 because max is playing second so if max is playing second who is playing first min obviously and initially it should belong to that category so 7 now min has no other option okay min see min is a perfect player even he can use strategy but we will not consider that for our case okay we will consider that he took one of these options that is 1 2 3 3 it's min's round okay we are considering max point of view now max has 6 5 and 4 to play with now we should use the strategy because we have to play such a way because see 654 does not belong to the category of 13715 so we have to remove a certain number of keys 
sorry, certain number of matchsticks that it results in those values. Now, uh, the only values left in that series is 1 and 3. 7 is not possible, it's up. So, on, what is the value possible? 3. Because anywhere when you remove half the number of sticks, you will never get 1. So, 3 is the only number possible. So, we'll use that strategy so that min is left with 3 sticks. So, what is the number that we have to remove? 3, 2 and 1. So that's our path. Now obviously the game is done. Min has no other option to remove one. Now Max also has no other option but to remove one. And finally Min is the last person to pick the stick. So Max wins. Max wins. Max wins. And for these graphs if you want you can put the backward uh, arrows. The dotted arrows if you want to. Otherwise, it's totally fine. And using state, I won't mention the status labeling procedure. I'll directly mark them. So yeah, www. Yeah, is uh, Max wins the game. Now this is where things get little complicated. Not much. So case three. What is case three? In case three, Max plays first. Okay. What was case 1? Case 1 also was max playing first. But in case 3, n belongs to. In case 1, n did not belong to. Here, n belongs to. So, here what happens? Here, max is playing with those very sticks which can lead him to lose. Okay? So, here you have to force himself to win by using a strategy. Here, you have to make note. Max can force a win using the strategy, but not, but does that does not ensure that he will win. He can win in all cases except when Max get a number from this, the same table over here, which means that initially if he gets 3, 7, 15, etc, etc, it's not 1, they did not include 1 because if it's 1, the game is over, right? So initially if he gets 3, 7, 15, 31, he can win using a strategy provided that he should not get that same series again in the middle. Okay. In the intermediate steps, he should not get that very series. And if it does come, then either he has to use the strategy again or he might actually lose. We will see that now. As we draw the game tree. Okay. I'll reduce this. Okay. Now, for case 3, what is our condition? Max is playing first. Max is playing first. And it belongs to that. The sticks belongs to the n that is 3 7 15 let us consider 7 <clears throat> in this case your uh, first example will repeat where max plays first 7 6 but there max lost if you remember in the example of the nim game tree when we took max plays first and 7 sticks max lost so here now we will learn how can he win okay we will force him to win so uh to force him to win, we have to use the strategy. Okay. <clears throat> now, now 7 belongs to that range. So, he can't use strategy now. He has to pick either 1, 2 or 3. He has no option. Because strategy is used when. When your opponent has to get this. But this you know 3 7 15 when he himself has it he has no other option but to remove the 1 2 3 <clears throat> or any value below its half so now min is left with the 6 y and 4 now here what we'll do here actually if min use a strategy he'll win but we will not assume that we will assume that he is picking all the possible cases 1 2 3 1 2 1 
टू डेट वुड लीव एस टू फाइव फोर थ्री टू सो हियर यू हैव इट नाउ हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वॉट वॉज आर कंडीशन स्ट्रैटी कैन बी यूज वेन द वैल्यूज डू नॉट बिलोंग टू द वैल्यूज वन थ्री सेवन थर्टीन नॉट थर्टीन सॉरी फिफ्टीन थर्टी वन एक्सेट्रा सो हियर वी कैन यूज द स्ट्रैटी इन दिस केस फाइव फोर एंड टू बिकॉज दे डू नॉट बिलोंग बट थ्री बिलोंग्स एंड वॉट इज अवर केस वी हैव कंसिडर्ड हियर वी हैव max can win by using strategy except in the case where max gets these values again which he has he has got 3 again and this will be his losing thing even if you proceed you can find out that he will still lose so instead of writing that just tell he will lose okay this is one case where max will lose other cases he will lose but you can use strategy so what is the most probable strategy we can use so from 5 we can reduce 2 to, to give it 3 because we need the values that belong to that series so that min loses that would be 2 and even from 4 we can remove 1 that would also result in 3 and from 2 obviously you can remove 1 that will result in 1 because see 1 also belongs to that series so yeah <clears throat> here obviously uh, max has already won if th- he follows this path this would lead to 2 also being w and <clears throat> here you need not write w is okay for 4 because here he has lost so about that it's depending on his strategy okay so you need not assign w and l only if he use a strategy it will be w if not it will be l so below that you can assign w and l values so now 3 now obviously game is already done one left one left one this is max this is min min plays the last one so max wins max wins max wins <coughs> max wins and max wins so if you observe here i will not assign any values for 6 because 3 is loose so obviously this will be loose this will be loose this will be loose this will be loose so technically max would be losing but if he use a strategy he can win only in these three scenarios if min if the min player strategically takes two then we will lose okay and if you observe the previous uh, the example in the nim game tree which we had earlier over here what was the path where min won the game if you see min won the game with that exact path he went from here to here to here to here this is where min won the game and max lost so obviously that will be the exact same path in case 3 where max will lose see that's where max lost the game and every other case he can win provided he uses strategy that is done finally case 4 so what is case 4 case 4 <coughs> is again the opposite of case 3 or case 2 here max is the second player and n does not belong to you can find something common let's uh, just refresh what we, what was case 1 2 3 4 4 case one. okay case 1 was max is first player and n does not belong to okay max is first player n does not belong to am i correct yes first player n does not belong to max will always win what was case 2 max is second player n does belong to and max will win case 3 max was first player n belongs to in that case max should force a win by using strategy except in a case where max will get the values from that series so what is case 4 case 4 is where max is the second player 
and n does not belong to 3, 7, 15. Then again, here in this case also, max can force a win by using strategy except a case where he gets the sequence in his turn. <clears throat> so let's prove that. So we will take max as second player, right? So let's do that. Max is the second player <clears throat> and initially does not belong to, right? So it does not belong to. Here I could have taken six. But in case 4, there is a particular value where max will lose. That is node 15. So at node 15, he will lose the game. And that is what we have to show. So that's why I will consider this as 16. It won't be a big graph. Uh, sorry, it won't be a big tree. So min is playing first. Let's consider 16. <coughs> So from here, you have 8 chances, you remove 1, it will lead to 15, you remove 2, you remove 3, you remove 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So accordingly you will have 14, 15 he will lose, okay, even if you verify downwards, he will lose, okay. So you have 12, 11, 10, 9 and 8. So now he has to use a strategy. Now, as you can see, these values do not belong to that series. So he has to use the strategy. So if he uses strategy in that series, we have 1, 3, 7 and 15. 15 is obviously not. He has already got it in his turn. So he will lose obviously in this path. So what is the next value? 7. That means we have to remove every value Okay, we have to remove that many number of sticks from every possible case that will give us 7. That would be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there you go. Now, obviously, Min has got 7. He has no other option. He will lose for sure. So, he will take the value. Sorry. He can take only 1. 2, 3, even he cannot use strategy. So, he has 6, 5, 4. Now, Max is playing. So, Max has got 6, 5, 4. He didn't get any intermediate or the, any other nodes that belong to the category of 1, 3. So, he will win. He, he has to use strategy though. So, what is the strategy? Just like the case the case 2 ka graph. In case 2's graph, we had seen. it. You had to remain 3 over here. So you have to remove 3, 2, 1 and yeah with that we will finish this graph. He, he removes 1, he removes 1, he'll count 1. Okay sorry. Here we go. So this is max and this is min. So min is taking the last one. So it's w, w, w. So because of this, we get this as w, this as w, this as w. If all are w in min, it is w. And here if in max, if this is w, so you'll get this also as w, 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 and w. Now 16, you need not write anything because 15 is a loss. So 15 is a loss. So you need not write here. Because if Min goes for this strategy, then Max will lose. Otherwise, he can win. Okay. So, these are the four cases. <clears throat> and yeah, the conclusions for conclusion for the 14th case, which we observed. Where is it? Here. Max can force a win in all cases. Like for the example that we took. Except when he gets 15 matchsticks at his turn, he can win, otherwise he'll lose. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it's Nim Game Tree. It's strategy. When Max plays first, Min plays first. The four cases. And that's all. <clears throat>